Hello everyone, this is Kathy speaking from Divine Debut. Welcome to my channel. Hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas. Today is the 28th of December 2017. We've got three more days to go till the end of the year. And out with the old, in with the new. Welcome 2018. Right, as I said, this is the 28th today and these are your January readings, January love readings and if I see anything else that stands out to me I will be mentioning it. I will be using the Connolly Tarot which is a, um, a deck which I, I've used many times in the past. It's by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly and I do have a special special relationship with this tarot deck it just speaks to me it works for me and I do like to come back to it many times now the La Vera Sibila by Massangini is standard every month this month um, and when I'm saying month this reading is from the beginning of January till mid-month till around the 15th now tarot is not precise so know that the energies will be playing out a little bit before and a little bit after this is a general reading so don't go exactly by the date generally this is from beginning of January 2018 to mid January 2018 so that means obviously I'll be back for more readings after that now I'm also going to be taking an angel answer by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine it's an oracle deck and this will be taken at the end, so you will be forming a question, right? And the question hopefully will be answered with one of those oracle cards, especially for you. Now, I would like to say happy birthday to all Capricorn people out there. Happy birthday to all of you. And hopefully 2018 will be, you know, something new. Um, hopefully with the drive of Saturn which has moved into your sign hopefully that will give you the integrity and the truth you'll be standing in your truth and you'll be working through the energies for the next two and a half years when Saturn will be in your sign dear Capricorns now for everyone else obviously we've got Capricorn somewhere in our chart so that means that you will be familiar with your chart if you are able to, you know, download your natal birth chart. If you have the time of birth and the place of birth, you can actually find your own natal birth chart and where everything is placed. Now, astro.com is a beautiful uh, website. It's what I use mainly. Um, we also have... Astrolabe, which is a very popular one um, for a free natal chart. Also, um, I would like to mention that Mercury has gone direct as of five days ago, so around the 23rd of the month. Mercury is starting to move direct, but he is not in his full speed mode ahead. So do give him, I think around about the 10th or 11th of January, it's all systems go. And a very, very important point here that I have to mention is that all the planets will be moving direct. So we do have a window from roughly mid-January till March, roughly mid-March, and I'm, don't... Um, I'm not looking at astrology so, you know, um, so intently because I want to concentrate, concentrate on tarot and I know a lot of you do visit my channel for tarot. So this is only a little bit of astrology. So it's just all systems go from now until about mid-March. So as I mention every single time, I'm not an astrologer, but I'm an astrology student and I do have the astrologers, my favorite astrologers that I do um, look into and I um, study all the details with them. They help me 
to look into the stars and see what the energies are like, um, what the weather is, the astrological weather is. So because I have been very, very busy recently with, you know, moving house, as everyone knows, moving house, trying to get organized. This is, you know, brand new for me as well. I moved into a place um, which is really, really funny because it's an old home but it needed a facelift so I've put in a lot of hard work and that's what Saturn is with Capricorn. As Saturn moved into Capricorn, I moved into this old place which I've put a lot of hard work into in the recent past. So, and it's really, really funny because... You know, it's funny how we say, as above, so below, and I believe in that. I do believe that that works, you know. So I think I will leave it at that. I've already spoken too much. Um, I am going to start with the sign of Capricorn because Capricorn was done last month. Lastly, I had misplaced the reading, so they had to wait an extra day for their reading Plus, everything is happening in Capricorn. There is a party in Capricorn. So, um, dear Capricorn, I'm beginning with you. Let's see how we go this month, the month of January, beginning of January. On to your readings, everyone. And before I do that, just wanted to thank everyone for everything that you do for my channel. Thank you, thank you so much. 2017 was a wonderful year. I'm hoping to give you a lot more in 2018. I will be here. Thank you so much for those of you who have bought personal readings. It is my pleasure to do them for you. Um, the clients that have bought readings recently will have noted that I am incorporating astro astrology into my tarot readings. So I'm also rebuilding my website. I'm adding more readings. Skype is on full, uh, full throttle, yes. Um, I will be looking into more of the social media for those of you that are following me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'm so looking forward to a very, very strong year, uh, a very laborious year for me, I know. Capricorn is all about labor. And we've got all systems go, so... Thank you, thank you to all of you. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is actually the 30th of December 2017, and this is your love and general reading for January uh, 1st till the 15th. Right? So, dear Cancer, we're having a full moon on the 1st of January in your sign so it's going to be a very emotional time for everyone especially for you full moon says something is coming to a culmination okay very strong very strong full moon being in your sign it's in at home in your sign right so it is going to be very very powerful the day after that roughly Uranus will go direct. So let's see what the surprise is going to be for everyone, yeah? Okay, let's not get stuck on that. But one thing I can say to you for sure is that there is a party going on in Capricorn, which is your opposite sign. So, of course, it's going to affect you very much. So, you know, the transits that are happening now in the sky, Pluto is in Capricorn, the Sun is in Capricorn, Venus is there, Saturn just moved into your opposite house, which obviously will be your seventh house. So Cancer, very important time for you. Very, very important time, especially in love. Okay, let's go. For Cancer, what's happening in their love life and general? Dear Universe Spirit Guides, what is the information that I need to give to Cancerian people, my beautiful Cancerians. So this is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, right? The general energy. Hmm. Okay, in the now position we have the Seven of Pentacles. 
and I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot. Your challenge is the Seven of Swords. I hate this card. It's one of my worst cards in the Tarot, if not the worst. Sorry about that. Maybe this was even worse. <laughs> Capricornian energy, right? This is in the distant past, dear Cancer. It's good to see that it's in the distant past. What can I say? In the recent past, King of Swords. Crowning your reading is the Eight of Swords. You've got a lot on your mind. Oh my goodness. In the near future, we've got the Five of Swords. In the advice position and how people see you, you've got the Queen of Cups. In the environment position is the Nine of Wands. This is what's external to you. In your hopes and fears is the Wheel of Fortune. And the outcome card is the Two of Swords. Jesus. Two more cards. We've got the Page of Pentacles. And we've also got the King of Cups. My goodness. So here you are. Or this is your partner, I should say. You are here. You are depicted by the Queen of Cups. Now it's funny that um, we've got two kings. We've got the King of Swords in the recent in the recent past. Yes. And we've got the King of Cups looking into the future. So, right off the bat, right off the bat, dear Cancer, this is the person that's moving out of your life, air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And this is the person that's meant for you. Okay? And this could be someone from your past. Here is the conversation that's going on. Water sign, just like you. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Okay. This is a soul connection. We've got a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups. This was meant to be. This is in your distant past. Some of you may have been dealing with a Capricorn person. Person who is has got strong Capricorn in their natal chart. The King of Swords is looking to the past. He is looking to move to the past. He's moving out because you have got someone coming into your life that's been around there. They've been before. Maybe this was in a previous life. Okay. Maybe this is a twin flame. Okay, I don't say twin flame easily, but when I see the Six of Cups and there is a relationship that's meant to be because we've got two, we've got the King and the Queen of the same suit, right? We've got the Six of Cups, again, Cups, right? And we've got the Devil here. We've got the Seven of Swords, which is your challenge. This is the energy that you've been moving, that you've been living in, I should say. And this person, this King of Swords is looking to the past. It speaks to me of twin flame, twin flame relationship. Yes. Okay. This is someone who may have been from your youthful days, from school, from a previous foundation somewhere where you were living when you were a child or this is from a previous life, right? And yes, it can be a soulmate, but I feel as though twin flame is coming through for me. What is beneath here? Well, surprise, surprise. Some of you have been dealing with a Gemini. You are getting rid of a Gemini. Right, This air sign that is moving away is a Gemini. And you know what the funny thing is? The Gemini reading, which I just did, had the King of Cups in the environment position. So go and watch that. There are so many messages in that Gemini reading. It's not funny. Very difficult reading for me. So 
This is karma. This is a karmic relationship. The lovers, it's a number six. We've got two number sixes. Major and minor arcana. Okay? It looks as though this is the most simple reading so far. Dear Cancer, you are at this situation here. You are looking at whether to invest more time. You've got two sevens here. And even this King of Swords who is on his way out, he's looking at whether he should invest more time. Maybe he's thinking of the money that he's going to lose once he moves out of you, the relationship with you. Maybe he's only thinking of the money because he is quite sneaky, as you can see here. So he might be bailing out on you as well, leaving your relationship behind. Now, he may be doing this or you may be doing this, but I feel as though he's out. This is in the distant past. You felt bound by some sort of situation. Maybe he... Maybe he had... He had restrictions in his life. Maybe he was on drugs. Maybe he was an alcoholic. Maybe he... Uh, had addictions to gambling, maybe he was, you know, um, addicted to gambling. He, he could have been addicted to anything. Whatever the case, this devil energy is not an easy energy. This is Capricornian energy. Now with Capricorn, with Saturn having moved out of Sagittarius, and what is Sagittarius all about? It's, it's the ninth house in the natural zodiac. Ninth house matters. So, higher education, your belief system, foreign people, foreign places, um, the law, legal matters. So maybe you are bound by some legal matter and it's taken a while for you to be able to get out of this rut because I could see that you've been in a very difficult position, dear Cancer. You've got the Seven of Swords and then the Eight of Swords. So deceptive energy which has been putting you in a mental prison. You have been in a mental prison. You felt as though you were chained to this person but you are not. Okay, so maybe with Uranus going direct, this is what you are going to work out in your mind. Okay, even though you know you've got a battle on your hands, okay, it's not easy getting rid of energy like this. It is not easy, but you do have the upper hand. Okay, look at the three swords that he's holding. He's got three swords. So maybe this person has, maybe this person did the dirty on you. Maybe this person was involved with another another air sign maybe air sign when i say um libra gemini okay that was my candle that was dripping <laughs> i'm sorry sounded like someone was sounded like i don't know uh, something was dripping and it's the candle that's dripping. That's fine. Okay. What does that tell us? I, I was saying Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Okay. Maybe this person did the dirty on you with one of those signs because we've got another, we've got a few swords here, right? We've got the eight, seven, five, and the king of swords, of course. And we've got the two of swords. So, in the near future, we've got a five, which says that external things are coming in, external factors, people, situations are coming in to bring change. And change is what you need, I can see. Now, in the advice position, this is you. Okay, even though this is a female, you may be a male. It's not gender specific. But she's looking to the past as well. She's probably waiting for him to move away. And maybe some of you are a little bit on the 
moving beneath the radar, not letting people know what you are up to. And sometimes it is necessary because I can see that you have been through hardship. This is the nine, okay? This is the nine of wands. Now, you've been through hardship, but you're one step before completion, all right? One step before the ten. And you are obviously hoping for the wheel of fortune, okay? This is in your hopes and fears position. This is a ten, okay? And if we look at this card, as you can see, there were three people, three people on the wheel. One is falling over. One is being pushed away. Okay, which is it's time for the wheel to turn. And the wheel needs only two people on there, not three. And if you could see here, this is the hand of the universe. Your angels, your spirit guides, God, whoever you believe in. And the wheel is being turned. Now, usually I see the wheel as a very positive note. Now, this is the obviously the energy of Jupiter, and Jupiter is in Scorpio. So Jupiter in Scorpio brings up all the things that are hidden. Scorpio is a very, very deep, mystic, secretive sign, house. It's the eighth house, which deals with births, deaths, other people's money, sex, things that are hidden, legal matters, of course, as well. Okay, because of other people's matters, right? With um, alimony and all those matters that deal with the legal system. So, because Jupiter, you know, of course, Jupiter deals with legal the legal system as well, with the justice system. So. That's what Jupiter is doing. It is bringing things that are hidden to light to have them balanced out, okay, because that's what Jupiter tries to bring in um, good things, uh, lucky things. Um, it tries to expand on our life, and usually Jupiter is the benefic planet, okay. Even though it expands on everything, it can expand on negativity, but usually Jupiter is a planet of luck. So that's why I always see the Wheel of Fortune as a good note. Now, sometimes the wheel can be turning downwards, but there is a reason why it's turning downwards so that then things again, you know, the wheel doesn't stop turning. That's what life is all about. Better to have change than stagnancy. So with your hope being the Wheel of Fortune, you are hoping to make a very big decision, but you're hoping for information, obviously. That's why she's blindfolded here. So you've got the Page of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles is, yes, it can be an earth sign. Now, remember before how I said we've also got Capricorn showing up here, right? But usually this can be Capricornian energy, but it can be any other um, earth sign, it can be a Taurus or a Virgo, individual who is, who acts youthful, who, it could be someone who is sending you a message, it could be your energy, you're wanting to, you've already begun something that's hoping, you that you're hoping to find stability with, you're hoping to grow on this pentacle, right? This can be, of course, Many things to do with, um, you know, anything to do with financial matters because the pentacles always speak of financial matters. Now, if this is, you know, in relation to your career, this is a very good sign because it says that you've got this pentacle and through stable, steady movement, you can make this grow, make this pentacle grow. And that's what, you know, the earth element, it's all about stability and groundedness, right? Solid, stable uh, situations. Now, this could be also someone who is bringing a message to you because pages are, you know, they're bringers uh, of messages, right? So this is a good message, whatever it is, but you're still at, you know, in two minds here. You're still in two minds. And you've got a choice to 
to make because with the two of swords here so for some of you this could be maybe this could be an adolescent that is in your life and maybe there is some sort of blockage here with the two of swords maybe this message is putting you in a position of needing to make a choice right or for some of you maybe the information that comes in will help you make the choice and here is the king of cups this is your partner right and he is looking to the future so even you know this the two of swords could even speak of your partner needing to make a choice between an earth sign and you at being a water sign that could be the case as well but we do have a page here pages are uh, situations people that bring in news which brings on change so let's take some more cards here um, so your you are closing the door more than likely for a few of you it's going to be Gemini for others of you it could be either Libra or Aquarius as I said I had the lovers card there so Gemini is prominent for others of you you are closing the door on a Capricorn or it could be an air sign that's got um, that has um, a problem with addictions or they can be bound by some other situation um, maybe um, let me look at the five of swords which is in the near future and we've got the eight of cups so someone is moving away we've got the full moon up there as you can see it's not the f it looks like an eclipse you guys and we are having an eclipse we're having a full a full moon we're having two full moons in January one on the first which is in Cancer in your sign and then on the 31st of July of January sorry we are having another full moon eclipse right so that's maybe when when you will be walking away you will be walking away because this is a cups card you will be moving away now I did want to say 31st of July before so that might be important that may be uh, 31st of July yes uh, that's 31st of July is actually Leo so if if some of you are a Leo who's got a moon or rising sign in cancer and you're watching this then this obviously is your reading let me look at the nine of wands And that's in the environment position yes so five of Pentacles another five again you're going through financial hardship here there is a shortage here of it could be financial for some of you for others of you this is just emotional even though it's a Pentacles card you could see that these two people are finding solace one with the other between each other They've been battered and bruised, but they have each other. For some of you, you are taking, um, uh, what was I going to say? You are uh, being uh, loved and, and nurtured through, through the church, maybe, for some of you. Some of you may be very close, maybe um, in a group which deals with, you know, spirituality. And you've got people that are on the same page with you so you will find support through them but also the five of Pentacles 
could be talking about because it, it is the external uh, external area here maybe um, and I believe that this king of cups which is your partner and this could be a king or a queen maybe they're coming out of a broken relationship as well and you both find each other here because we do have the two of swords here where there is a major decision to be made so maybe they were partnered up with another earth sign um, so we've got I didn't even say where I was going to put this down I'm going to put this up there this is the seven of cups this is the energy of Neptune in Pisces right having choices but not but it's not clear which which cup to take which is the right cup for me this may be you wearing rose colored glasses or your partner now for some of you we could be talking about a piscean individual your partner may be a piscean individual let me take one more card up there And then we've got the Four of Cups, many cups galore. Look, there is an offer coming in. There is an offer coming in, but it's not It's not the perfect, like it's not the Ace of Cups, okay? Because if it was the Ace of cup, Cups, we wouldn't have had these other three cups here. So there's obviously been some, some sort of, um, how do I call it, celebration in the past right and we've we're past the stage of the ace of cups we're past the stage of three of cups three of cups where there's been celebration we're up to the fourth so i believe that because it's a four and it does deal with your home it's the four four speak of our home so maybe this is someone who is close to your home someone that is in your periphery maybe um, there are restrictions from your home maybe there are family restrictions from children okay now I'm going to take some more cards let me take one card on the seven of swords seven of Pentacles and seven of swords and we've got the death card now I, if I'm not mistaken, each and every reading sign, I should say, for early January readings, everyone has got the death card. So there is major transformation, major, major transformation happening for everyone. Some of you may be involved with a Scorpio. Whatever the case, there is going to be transformation here. As I said, for everyone, let me take a card on the Six of Cups. That's the general energy. And we've got the Three of Cups. Okay, that was a celebration. It is going to be a celebration. Whatever, this is going out partying, enjoying yourself, being with your family, with your friends. So some of you may be meeting this person from the past at a family get-together or it could be through school a get-together with school with friends from the past look at that now if we look at the six and the three together that's the nine of cups this is a wish coming true um, let me take one card on the king of swords I can't even shuffle and okay well Aquarius this is the card of Aquarius for a lot of you this is an Aquarius that you're closing the door on okay it is a karmic cycle because you did have the lovers card beneath the six beneath the six of uh, cups 
was the lover's card. And I said, for some of you, we're talking about Gemini. For others, this is Aquarius. Now, this person is following their bright star. Okay, there is going to be healing for you from this difficult energy. Yeah. And also the star is a wish card. So you are wishing for this person to move out of your life. This person may even be getting their wish, but we don't care about this person, do we? <laughs> Let me take some severe's. Let me look at the devil. Dear Cancer, dear Cancer. You know, it's funny because your uh, eighth house is the house of Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is the house of groups, social groups, networks, wishes and hopes, hopes and wishes. It's also people at a distance, obviously. And... The house of Aquarius is ruled by Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. Now Uranus is breaking things down that don't work. Uranus is going direct as of the 2nd of January. <laughs> Need I say more? One more thing. Since Aquarius is the 8th house for you, Cancer, the 8th house is the house of transformation other people's money and I was saying the exact same thing to Gemini just before because their eighth house was affected as well so as I said this card has showed up for each and every sign for the month of January so this is the card of Pluto in Capricorn okay it is it's it stands for Scorpio Jupiter is in Scorpio bringing things up what can I say how can someone say that the tarot does not work Nemika the female enemy on the devil Amika best friend confidant justice balancing out your best friend Ana Lagreza al cuore three people Lightness of the heart, happiness of the heart, happiness of the heart. So, this can speak of legal matters. This can speak of a liberal individual. And this can speak of a best friend, a confidant. This is the enemy. This could be the third person. We do have three people here. And this could also speak of finding your balance through justice or through friends and being happy and merry about it, okay? Let me take... I'd like to look at the Five of Pentacles here. We've got Giovina Fanciulla. This is the virgin or the young maiden or the other woman. Then we have Morte, which is the card of Scorpio. This is the death card, transformation. And then we have Allegria, which is merriment, going out, enjoying yourself. It's like the Three of Cups. So it looks as though If this was the other woman, there is going to be transformation, this virgin, here, right, is going to transform. She is either going away, okay, or this young woman here is being reborn, 
right? Something new is changing, is evolving. Maybe this is an evolution. For some of you, this could be you evolving and maturing through the experiences, through the difficulties of life, okay? And, of course, celebrating. Now, it's funny because Saturn is the uh, difficult teacher, right? The strict teacher. And he teaches us things. So for each and every one of us, we do have Saturn somewhere in our chart, which we are affected by. So we have to put in the hard work. Now these three Sibylas here tell me that the story of Saturn. So whatever, whatever we've wanted to build, right, with this virgin, whatever we wanted to, you know, something new, we wanted something new to come in our life, to bring us transformation, right? So we could be happy. Okay, so through the transformation, of course, and again, this could be the support, the support of family, all right? There's going to be a major change here. That's what it says. I do believe that this card does speak of support. Now, for others of you, where you, this is the other woman, okay? The other woman is here. And maybe you, that's why you have, if that uh, air sign has done the dirty on you, that's why you've been protecting your home, whatever you've been protected, protecting your life. You have been in a um, overdrive mode, yes? And you felt left out in the cold, you and your family, you and your children. For those of you that I'm talking to, you know who you are, okay? And this could always be the same, this, you know, the same for either your partner, because I did say that they may have come out of another relationship, as well as you. And you both find comfort in, in each other in each other's arms, right? And there is the transformation. Now, of course, this Giovina Fanciulla can be metaphorical, right? Where there is something new that's going to bring you the transformation. So it's not going to be for all of you that there is a third person, all right? Because some of you may be just closing the door on one relationship and then opening a new door. Because as we say, the universe says, where there is a void, the universe can fill it. Where there is no void, there is no room to bring in the new. So let me look at now. I want to look at the death card. Because beneath that is the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. Mainly the seven of swords I want to see what that's all about. So we've got the artista. This is the discovery, right? So someone's trying to do something beneath the radar without people knowing, but the information is going to come to light. This is the uh, scientist, the solicitor, and they come across the information. Delirante, deliriousness, okay, silly actions. So light is going to be coming to the silly actions. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Siri just... Uh, started talking just out of the blue. That must mean something. Please let me know. <laughs> what was I saying? Delirante, silly actions. And Viaggio, the voyager. This is someone who may be visiting you. This may be literal movement. Okay. And this could also be your knight in shining armor for me, that means as well. So the Delirante many times can speak of support for me as well. Again, support through family. But, delirante, deliriousness, means that the, um, the news that's going to come in is going to be quite shocking, right? So he's going to be delirious. He won't know what hit him. And then there may be literal movement or there may be a discovery of someone coming in, someone moving in 
or moving out, right? This could even be a visitor. Uh, one more card, one more time for this dealers. And I'd like to look at the uh, Five of Swords with the Eight of Cups. We have the ladro, the thief. Something gone missing, so something's, it's like the Seven of Swords, really. Belvedere, being on the lookout, hoping and wishing for your ships to come in, waiting for something. And then we've got the La Reunion. So this is the meeting. So... We have the thief, and then we have the waiting. Okay, so so whatever was not working for you at your home, you are going to battle it out because there's been something, something's gone astray, something's gone missing. There's been a snake around your home, right? And... This is hoping and waiting for someone or something to come in for you. Okay, this is a period of being on the lookout, correct, for the meeting. So some of you may be actually traveling for this meeting or you may be waiting for someone to come in. And, of course, this is quite secretive here. Or some of you may be sneaking out in the middle of the night. Yes? And you are wondering whether you should do that. And that you might have problems. And you're asking yourself if it's worth it. Okay, dear Cancer. I'm going to... Get an answer for you. You need to um, think of a question. Ask the question that you would like to ask. Try and make it simple. And one of these cards, the Angel Answers, Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine, may be able to answer your question. Okay, for cancer, please. What is, excuse me. What is, what is the card that's going to answer the question for Cancer? Okay. Oh, we got two. Okay. Peaceful resolution. They just flew out. And if you believe. Okay, so I don't know how they speak to you. Let me take the peaceful resolution and I just opened up on the page. This is this card was really, really meant to be. Peaceful resolution. It's just amazing how it fell out. The challenges you're inquiring about are going to come to an end. Conflict will cease and soon be replaced with harmony. Where is my dear harmony? There it is. Beautiful. There will be a sense of peace shared by all, even if some only agree to disagree. Disagreements will be resolved in your favour. This includes struggles with employers, legal battles, arbitration, and even strife among family or friends. Be forgiving and understanding with those who may have been in error. Allow peace to come with grace and dignity for everyone. That's beautiful, isn't it? Let's read the If You Believe. And a lot of those things that I just read, they were in your reading. So if you've been listening carefully, you will remember. If you believe. What you need right now is faith. You can have what you desire, but you must believe that it can be so. Stay positive and visualize the outcome you're hoping for. Set aside all negativity or, per or pessimism in favour of a sunny outlook. 
The law of attraction brings to us what we expect to receive. If our perception is that we deserve great things, then we will attract happiness. If we fall into doubt and don't believe in our own self-worth, then our experiences will match that energy. And I do believe that very strongly. Believe in yourself and your cherished dreams. Okay, dear Cancer, you deserve all that good that comes to you. You're so loving and nurturing you give to everyone. It's time for you to receive. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking the time out. Please do come back and watch the um, 2018 yearly readings. No, it's not going to be the whole year. It's the first six months. So early January, I'll be uploading the readings for January to June for your love lives. And also, um, I will be back mid-month of January to do the second half of January love and general readings. So, thank you so much for being here again. Do keep well. My love to all of you. Stay blessed. And I'll see you real soon. Happy New Year.